We can talk about the Batman. I don't have a lot to say about it. I don't really have that much to say about it either. It was passable. I, I feel like it was an above average Batman story. Well, it borrowed heavily from some good comics, which helps. Right. So it was, it was I mean, well, I mean, what's an average Batman story? What, just some Japanese guy in the face? <laughs> um, <laughs> an average modern Batman story? I don't even know after the New 52. Um, oh, I, I haven't read in a while. No, me either. I just know, they've just been doing movies and the old yeah, animation they, they, being turned into. Yeah, they borrow a lot from uh, The Long Halloween, which is smart. Yeah, it is smart. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, so the Catwoman story is excellent, I thought. I thought that yes. was handled very well. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Uh, there's a lot about the movie that I, that I enjoyed. Um, him solving crime was pretty neat, like actually having to put clues together. My only issue is that he solves them a little too fast. Like, he doesn't really sit with anything. He just kind of like got it. Well, he's been in the biz for a while. One movie. year. Oh, this, is, this is year two. Yeah, really? he, has, he has the journals. But he solves them a little too fast, and that kind of takes away some of the tension. And this is a long movie, by the way, and it's way too long. You could essentially cut out the penguin entirely. He doesn't really do anything. He doesn't he, do anything. He, he teaches him that, like, Batman doesn't understand Spanish, like... <laughs> And it's like, even I know it's not El Rata, it's La Rata. And he's like, you are El. And then he Googles something. And then he's like, oh, there it is, the Riddler secret chat room. I'm like, instantly? Get out of here. <clears throat> it's got that weird the chase. Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> it's got that weird chase sequence on the highway where all the people are, like all those cars and vehicles are destroyed. And Batman's like, it's cool. And so like, you take all that out, it's a little more realistically grounded. Uh, some of the editing in it is quick cut, quick cut, quick cut. I didn't quite care for... The fact that he's a bulletproof Terminator for most of the movie until it's plot convenient at the end. Well, his his face hole is uncovered. Yeah, just shoot him in the face. <laughs> like, like if they're if you're shooting a thousand automatic, you know, mm -hmm. bullets at him. Yeah, uh, one is gonna go in there. Yeah. Or how about like Batman? Don't just walk up to people shooting you. You're Batman. You're not like take him out from the shadows like quietly. Like that. It should be more Predator and less Terminator. You think he can crouch in that suit? No, but. <laughs> No. We made a second suit for him to crouch. It's just spandex. <laughs> <laughs> Enemies can't, can't shoot him because they're distracted by his booty. <laughs> no one will notice if we <laughs> cut, cut to his spandex suit. <laughs> the butt man. Does he ever crouch in the movie? Um, in this one? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think he does. Yeah, well, he's, he's wearing essentially He lays on his armor. back. He stands up. Yeah, because he gets, <laughs> yeah. The one time his body armor can't stop. He gets shot with a shotgun and that knocks him down. But he can be shot point blank with like machine guns and he's fine. More than one machine gun, I might add. And he's fine. I don't like that the Batcave was under Wayne Tower in the middle of the city. It doesn't make any sense. Why is there, like, you can't hide a giant cave in the middle of a city. <clears throat> I didn't like that. Um, I heard Pattinson, mm, fine, I guess. But, like, having, a re like, reclusive Bruce Wayne doesn't work for me because... Not anymore. It's like, it's just, yeah, it's... You know, it would be one thing if they were saying he was like a Gatsby-esque recluse who's just like, why would he come to the city? People go to him. But he's in the middle of the city. He's hiding out. He dresses like what Batman would dress like in the daytime. <laughs> you know, it's just not, it's not, it's the easiest thing in the world to assume this disillusioned billionaire play. Well, he's not even a playboy. He's just a billionaire, like, just just sits up in Wayne Tower, which looks like a gothic castle yeah, on the top a recluse. of the building. It's all yeah. a recluse. And it's like, it just doesn't make sense. Like he's not, they don't even try and give him like a Howard Hughes-esque eccentricity that would preclude him from going out in public or anything like that or. And Alfred <laughs> just kind of shows up. <laughs> yeah, Alfred doesn't have much to do. He just kind of shows up and goes, oh yes sir, uh, this thing. He almost, yeah, well Alfred thinks he's going to solve the cipher one time and then Batman's like, moron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. He like <laughs> corrects him for doing it wrong and then Batman solves it instantly. It's just, there's just a lot I, it's too long. It's visually flat, I think. Ba -dum -bum! <laughs> yeah. There's the soundtrack. Oh, oh, God, it's so loud. And, I mean, it's just the ending is nonsense. Well, the soundtrack is just like this one, it was one note th theme that just keeps going on and on. It'd like interject a bong, bong, bong. It, it's just not As it like pans good. across the city at like yeah. dusk. Oh, and God forbid, you're like trying to understand what was happening in some of the nightclub sequences. I'm like, mm, sure. I guess, I guess. I've never understood anything that was happening in a nightclub. <laughs> I'm not allowed in nightclubs. <laughs> they take one look at me and they're like, no. <laughs> it's even worse than the day clubs for you. <laughs> 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 it's too bright in here. <laughs> no, it's just, it, it, it could have been. I don't know. It's it's just it's just a mess. There's the. <sighs> but I mean, let's talk about the positive. It's an above average Batman story. 
It has it has above average acting. I it's would say. A, the, uh, Robert, Robert Pattinson did this, did a really good job in my opinion. But I think honestly, I think the Batman suit. Just seeing anyone put anyone in a Batman suit as long as it doesn't have nipples, and you're pretty good. I mean, the suit. What if it had as many nipples as the bat has? How many nipples do bats have? Cats have like six, so bats have to have a. How many do rats have? I don't know. It's got to be at least that many. It's got to be like six, right? Do rats have nipples? I don't know. That's something for us to Google. Put up uh, <laughs> how many nipples bats have real quick. Well, I'll be damned. Shit. <laughs> no one would guess that. <laughs> I'm going to guess right now and say six. That's my guess. Okay. Well, we already did the bit where we find out if we're right, so this is going to be real. I knew it! <laughs> it's going to be real weird. I think bats have eight nipples. <laughs> I think bats have ten nipples. I think bats have four nipples. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, it, so it is above average. The Catwoman stuff is handled well. I think Catwoman actress was really good. Yeah, she does fine. Who she should have had more to do. Uh, Zoe Kravitz. Oh, that's who it was? Okay. Yep. So uh, she does a very good job with, I wouldn't say she has minimal screen time, but it doesn't feel like, I feel like it's, like her parts are very distilled and succinct, and I think I would have enjoyed that level of, like control over the rest of the movie, because you know, in, in my head she had she had a lot of screen time, but um, thinking about it, I don't think she did. And anytime she was on screen, something was usually being like plot progression. It wasn't like right, but I guess I feel like she had more screen time because I liked the screen time that she had. She may have had enough. I don't know, but like it's it, her screen time's not wasted, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, okay. um, Alfred's is wasted. He's a joke. Penguins is wasted. He's a joke. Commissioner Gordon is oh. That's my biggest problem of the movie. When Commissioner Gordon starts walking Batman through crime scenes, I was like, nope, yeah. not at all. Like, no. Not after stop. one year. Like, maybe after a couple of years, Batman would be. And, and then, like, and Gordon's not even the commissioner. He's just detective. And, right. like, the commissioner's on scene, so he's not even, like, ranking detective on scene. Like, he's not even, like, the head honcho, and he just lets Batman walk through, and the cops are like, uh, what you doing, Gordon? And Gordon's like, it's fine. And it's like, it's offline. He's ruining, like, <laughs> this crime scene. And then, like, no, oh, you said that humans can't go to the crime scenes. Nothing says a bat can't. Ain't no rules says a bat can't go. <laughs> yeah, we're right here. <laughs> but then, like, and, and, and... There's a bat right up there. You ain't book played by him. So, so that's frustrating. What else is frustrating for me is when Batman gets knocked unconscious from the explosion, they bring him to the police station, and they don't even try to remove his mask. Like, they don't even do, like, a scene where they go to touch it and it shocks him or anything. They just put him on a table. And then he talks with Gordon, he's like, Got to get out of here. And Gordon's like, you're going to have to hit me, but make it look real. Gordon, just walk him out. You already walked him through. Why does Batman have to run and escape from a police station? It Isn't doesn't... everyone mad at him at that point, though? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. They're like, rabble, rabble, rabble. Evil dies tonight! Yeah, but I mean, he just, like, why not? You would take a man to, you would take, even if it's a Batman, you would take him to a hospital, right? Or a vet. Uh, you would take him to a hospital. Yeah, more, a little story. You would take him for medical attention. You wouldn't put him on, like, an interrogation room table and wait for him to wake up. Maybe right. they were going for an autopsy. No. <laughs> Alien autopsy. Alien autopsy. No, it's just like, there's just those things I can't overlook. And the other question <clears> is, where does it fit into continuity? It's its own thing. It's starting a new one. But it doesn't, is it starting a new one? It's a, yeah, it has to. It's a year two. Nothing else has happened this early. But why is it, I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me why they need so many new, I mean, the comics reboot every three seconds, so it kind of makes sense in comic book terms, but in movie terms, I don't like it. I and, and you know what really also bothers me? It'd be me? like if all the Avatar sequels were their own world. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and you know what really bothers me about this one too is like they wouldn't let Ben Affleck make his movie because it said it didn't have enough action and it was too detective oriented. And I don't think there was anything wrong with Ben Affleck's Batman. I really liked it. And so I, I thought he did a really good job at playing like a Bruce Wayne. He doesn't want to be Bruce Wayne. He'd rather be Batman. Right. And, and, and I like, that's what I look for. Uh, plus, you know, it would have been nice to for to keep him in shape, you know, because that divorce hit him pretty hard. And like when they did the reshoots for Justice League, and he's all emaciated now, like man, he's just he's ha he's having a rough go of it. Mm. But they wouldn't let him do it because they said it wasn't action heavy enough. And so when I see this, my least favorite parts are the action sequences. You know, I barely remember the car chase, and then at the end, the only thing I remember when is they when they attack the stadium and they flood the city to make the a no only thing I remember is he garbage. took he took venom. He didn't take Venom. They said it was just adrenaline. What? It should have been proto-Venom, It was right? like green. I don't know. 
Did they make adrenaline green? Yeah, I guess so. so I know, but it should have been a proto venom. It was they a glow stick. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he shoots himself up with a glow stick, or like in his leg. But this should have been like a prototype venom, and somebody should have recovered it from the scene. And that would have been what, awesome. Yeah, no, and you couldn't make not, a trilogy out of that. They're not world building in this, except that go- parts of Gotham are now flooded, and like maybe they'll come back and it'll do some kind of thing. The penguin. It's just like it's very convoluted. Penguins like, just flapping around in all the water. Yeah, yeah. Looking for fish. It, it, and like it's very convoluted. Like even Riddler's plan is like needlessly complex. You know? What was it? I'm going to incite the incels and we're going to shoot the. Well, he wanted to. The bring, city? Remember? Because originally he was going to have it so that when Batman was arresting Falcone, he was going to snipe him. Right. From the window. Yeah. And he does. Okay. Um, they were like, Falcone's too elusive. Falcone just went to a fucking funeral. Like, and guess what? Riddler's at that funeral, too. Because he's, remember, he's watching him from the balcony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the two guys are in the same spot, but it, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It, it, you, you can set up a convoluted plot. It's fine. It should have ended with the interrogation where Riddler's like, and I know what your real face is. And he's like, oh, I'm done. He's like, that's your real face. The Batman's your real face. Who you are underneath doesn't matter. And I'm like, oh, awesome. They finally got it right. But instead, they... They go with a giant insight, the incels shoot up a stadium, bomb the city. It's too much. It was too big for a first movie. Like, you can... It's too realistic. Who wants that in Batman? It's not even very realistic. The incels shooting up a stadium? (laughs) All dressed as Riddler? (laughs) Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) It's just not to to my pleasure, you know? No, it was... Catwoman's fine. It was okay. Like, it had, had had, like I said, above average uh, plot. Above average acting, and then just, I don't know, I don't know what else. It, it, it's too long. It had, yeah. too, it had too many things going on. You know, it's like that, say, who is it, like, was it like Coco Chanel said, before you leave the house, take off one thing? It's like, before you write this movie, take out one, well, like, one storyline, you know? Yeah. It's, it's just too much stuff happening all at once. I leave the house without one shoe all the time. So do I. Huh. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> realize I was following, uh... <laughs> My, the one thing I, the one accessory I leave behind is my pants, and that doesn't work out. <laughs> it works out fine. <laughs> so good job, you know, middle school. Uh, but I mean, I got to watch it on HBO Max, so I got to watch it at home. Right. You know, I got to sit in my comfy chair. I had my mini fridge. You know, so I got to have refreshments. It was fine. It was it was fine to sit and watch at home, but I don't think I, if I'd gone to the theater, I don't think I'd even be this favorable towards it. And I know it sounds like I'm I'm really like shitting on it, but it's because it had the potential to be quite excellent. And I love the director because he did the um, Dawn of Planet of the Apes and War for Planet of the Apes, Matt yeah, Reeves. Yeah. And those were awesome. Didn't he do Man of Steel too? No, that's Zack Snyder. Zack oh, Snyder I guess did he Man did. Of Steel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, he did the the two Planet of the Apes. I don't think he did the first one. Um, but he did, he did, uh, yeah. And, and those were very good. And those were very simple, pl- like plots, very heavy character. And I think what this upsets me about is it's too heavy on plots and not enough character. It's mm. kind of like the opposite. We don't really get to <clears throat> know Gordon all that much. So at we all. don't. Yeah, we don't. The penguin. We don't know anything about Gordon. Eliminate the penguin. <clears throat> Let's have some Gordon stuff. Let's have more of Gordon and Batman trying to figure out how to stop the Riddler. You can still have Catwoman and Falcon because that sets up a good, she's like the anti-Batman in a way. Keep it small, keep it focused on them. Give Alfred something to do other than almost die for Batman to be like, the Vin Diesel, we're fanbury. <laughs> you know, because that's all it is. It's like, we're fanbury. And uh, it's just, it's. I expected so much better, especially when the reviews were so favorable. And Yeah. I was just disappointed. It's it too busy. Um, but that being said, if you have HBO Max, I mean, make up your own mind, you know? But you know what HBO Max nailed? Hit out of the ballpark? Peacemaker. 